Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. <laughs> New Zealand's a wonderful place, but because there aren't very many people here, uh, we're encouraged to stock two weeks worth of food in case of civil emergencies like earthquakes and zombie invasions. So, I packed a box full of emergency rations six years ago. Let's see what's still edible in our zombie food box. Among the many other delights, this jasmine rice put in the plastic container in 2016. Let's give that a go. Under zombie conditions, we want to minimize fuel use. So here's how we make one cup of rice. Take your cup of rice and soak it in excess water with a generous quantity of salt for 20 minutes. Then drain the rice, stick in two cups of water and however much salt you like. Then you boil it. Once it's boiled, you turn the heat right down and let it simmer until nearly all the water has disappeared. At this point, I chuck in some extra protein, and give it a stir, stick the lid on, and leave it for 20 minutes. After that, it's absorbed nearly all the water, and it's light and fluffy, and ready to feed the hordes. When we store these things, we generally put them uh, in a cool place, out of the sunlight, away from vermin, um, and, well, where things aren't likely to get damaged. When eating food that's slightly dodgy, it's a really good idea to cook it extremely well. Um, this gives you at least a fighting chance. However, it's possible to overdo it. Here we are in the morning, and I'm a bit peckish. Let's see what's in the box. Ah, we have ooh, a lunchbox. We have some peanuts. Uh, a bag of muesli that they don't make anymore, as far as I know. Uh, one classic beef curry dehydrated meal. Some risotto. Some Tic Tacs. A small bottle of... Oh yeah, that still smells good. Rum. Yep. I can see that hasn't leaked out. Some bounty bars, mini sized. And ooh, one square meal chocolate flavour. And for those who you know chocolate meant some rum and raisin Whitaker's chocolate. Whitaker's chocolate is, in my opinion, the best chocolate around. Um, well, bulk brand anyway. And uh, let's see how it survived because. I haven't had breakfast yet. We have a best before date of, oh my, 30th of February, 2013. Well, it is now September, 2019. So let's see how six-year-old Whitaker's chocolate does in remarkably good shape. Look at that. Not a hint of bloom, high quality chocolate. It's the 50% uh, plus cocoa that makes this stuff keep a long time. Crunchy and crisp, like it should be. And the raisins are still moist. Right, Whitaker's, 10 out of 10 for long term storage. Mm. Just to be on the safe side, we'll try some of the other stuff another day. Mmm, nice chocolate. Morning. Um, we'll have a look at the Tic Tacs. Uh, they don't seem to have survived very well. They've gone all gooey and with all sort of odd food. You don't need to waste it. Uh, you can feed it to chickens if you have them, um, or use it to bait traps. But um, 
I fortunately have some nice fresh fruit salad for breakfast. And as you always eat the fresh food first, we'll leave this for another day. So for now, that's your lot. They're on Geeko Farm.